spoil again like i said is supposed to upload a video later today we will keep uh refreshing i await with bated breath but until then john doyle has a friend his name is nathaniel abbott uh, John Doyle, I only found this channel because a while back John Doyle recommended it and saying he's a friend of his who does a YouTube channel. He, um, I guess you can say this either fortunately or unfortunately, does not have the success of John Doyle in that he only has 4,000 subscribers. His videos don't get very many views like John's, but they're packed with like four times the cringe. So, let's check out his channel and see why, uh, this proto fashy person isn't as popular as his bud. What's up? So first off, you boy copped some sort of mystery illness, not the coke cooties that got tested. So as a result, I'm gonna sound a little bit more nasally than usual, which I'm starting to figure out just makes me sound more like a Canadian. But second off, I considered starting this video with a little intro compilation of all the great soy-laden content that can be found on the internet, but... I forgot to... The, the, the title of this episode is A Society of Overgrown Children. So he's going to explain to us why adults having fun and enjoying themselves are actually cringe, even though he's incredibly cringe and putting on this affect. He's very much trying to emulate John Doyle in that um, disaffected 700 layers of irony. It's ya boy. Hi, everyone. I'm doing the YouTuber thing, except ironically, because... That's cringe, but I'm still doing it. Ha <laughs> ha. Dab, right? But ironically, because I know it's cringe, but I'm still going to do it, but I'm doing it ironically, so it's fine. He's putting on this affect, um, and he doesn't do it as well as John Doyle. It's still cringe when John Doyle does it, don't get me wrong, but he at least does it with a level of <sighs> confidence that makes people amenable to it, whereas this guy, mm, how do I put this? He doesn't. You can feel that he's kind of holding back a little bit on it. You can feel that he might be a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> and it shows. That's the appropriate feeling. He should feel embarrassed. I decided against it for the betterment of your physical and mental health. You're welcome. Instead, we're going to be microdosing. So it's becoming more and more painfully clear that we no longer live in a society of functional, mature adults. There truly no longer exists a separate standard of conduct, one for adults and one for children. Or at least, we as a society are no longer holding other adults to that standard. Like, think of some things that children do that mature adults should have definitely grown out of. Um, pooping their pants. Uh libertarianism those are those are the two i can think of playing dress up <laughs> oh we're going here now cool this is always the picture they use by the way whenever i see a chud or a conspiracy theorist who doesn't like um drag queens or anyone in the lgbt whatever community this is the picture they use and i think it's because of the horns and it's like they they think it's scary because demons I don't know. I just, I've seen this picture a lot. You know what's funny, by the way? I would have never, ever heard of the concept of Drag Queen Story Hour if it weren't for people like this. I just didn't know it existed. And I don't care. <laughs> Having temper tantrums in public. Call my parents! Call my parents! Call my parents! Crying when they don't get their way. Wait, I can do this too. I can do this too. You want support Roller Mark on Phil? Where is the video? Here we go. <laughs> if you see this, please save us. <laughs> I don't even see our American flag anymore. Biden is talking with some kind of crazy flag. This is America. This is our land. Please, President Trump. Please. Good one. Glad we could have this talk. Wearing diapers, playing with. <laughs> Why do they always bring up the adult babies? 
There are probably like a hundred adult babies in the entire country. I've never met an adult baby. I actually watched a, a little show thing. <clears throat> Thank you, Baha. Hydrate. I watched like a TLC episode. I think it was on the show, um, My Crazy Obsession or something. And it was one of these adult babies. And I'm not going to lie. I, 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 it makes me a little uncomfortable. It's just like something I'm not used to, whatever. Uh, but at the end of the day, I don't care. I don't care. They're not hurting anyone. Whatever. I'm not going to intentionally search out that material and watch, you know, them do whatever they want to do. But I also don't care. I do not care. <laughs> Hannah watches TLC. Guys, you watch me spend all my time looking at weirdos on the internet, cults and conspiracy theorists, and you're surprised I watch TLC? Really? You think I... <laughs> you think this is better than TLC? Uh-oh. <laughs> this is like people who watch Dr. Phil because they're too ashamed to just watch Jerry Springer. <laughs> it's all the same, guys. We're all doing the same shit. <sighs> anyway, uh, the point is, I, I don't know why they always bring up adult babies, and I don't really care. Their coping mechanisms are their business. Whatever. With stuffed animals, whatever this is, these are all things. That was just literally someone Diapers, twirling. Playing with stuffed animals, whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy for spinning in a circle. Society is collapsing because this man is spinning in a circle. Mm. These, these are all things that if you saw a kid doing, it would be whatever. But these are full grown adults. Full grown adults. Do you understand the perilous position that we're in right now? Like right now, we are safe in our little isolated fair. If we're on this, then by the way, his shirt says I'm allergic to stupidity. Why do you dress, act, and talk like you're a 12 year old? Because this is not, like, I used to wear, like, cringe t-shirts like this and act like I'm better than everyone else when I was, like, 14. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, okay, maybe a little bit acting better than yourself is part of my job. But you know what I mean. Like, I wear an ironic t-shirt telling everyone else that they're stupid and I'm smart. And I'm gonna tell other people how to enjoy themselves. Like, this is not how adults are. <laughs> fairy tale world where nothing real happens but what would happen if something real happens let's say let's just say let's say the canal fights back okay somehow they've managed to annex the entirety of south america now the united states is facing a land invasion from the south his hypothetical is panama trying to invade the united states glad we're very close to reality here and all the adults all of the people that we need to rely on are fat, lazy, and wearing diapers. We all Because the United States doesn't have a military. They try to recruit people, and then they're like, oh, we can't take you, you're wearing a diaper. That's why the United States historically and famously has the smallest, weakest military in the world. We already have a society full of adults who are utterly incapable of doing everyday ordinary tasks without commemorating their lack of functionality. Do you think this guy also lives with his parents like John Doyle? And he's doing this, which would be incredibly ironic, or no? Just cause like, I would imagine I'm on the list of like people that he thinks are non-functional, right? Like, um, first of all, I'm trans, which I imagine he's transphobic, surprise. Um, I own like toys. Uh, not that I necessarily play with, but, you know, like, I like Marvel a lot, so I buy, like, the Iron Man helmets and all that bullshit, because it's, it's like a hobby. I like collecting things. Um, I'm pretty silly. I wear silly clothes on stream, which you would consider dress-up, but I've lived away from my parents since I was 18. I've had a mortgage for, like, four years. I'm in the process of buying a second house. Like... <laughs> This guy has the gall to try and tell other adults that they're not being adult enough because they enjoy themselves. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Real adults hate their lives and seethe like me. With some tweet about adulting, or in this man's case, with cookies. Wait, you can't 
you can't make cookies now? Do you not like baked goods? Where do you think cookies come from? They don't spontaneously generate from rotten meat. Like, where do you think cookies come from? Someone has to make them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What would happen if these people had to do something extraordinary? Like, like, like shit post on the internet and get 1400 views. That takes real adulting and courage. Stop a land invasion from what is now the Panama Empire. I don't think they would be able to answer the Call of Duty because they're playing Call of Duty or... Ha 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 ha! Fellow kids, am I right? You play the video games? Someone says second house. Yeah, um, Alex, my friend who you probably know from the D&D &D game we do, is gonna be moving into my first house, um, and paying me rent with, with him and his brother. And then I'm moving in with Baja. Uh, we're, we're in the process of looking for a home near uh, the college she works at. Or, and is getting her um, PhD at. They wish they were playing Call of Duty, but instead they're a dad now. I know, the army has a Twitch channel. <laughs> Does he think people in the army don't play video games? I mean, not necessarily in when they're deployed, but you know what I mean? Do you think like... <laughs> People in the army don't come home and they like play video games when they're not deployed. I don't I don't understand The video game market is bigger than movies and television combined at this point I think it's really really popular like have fun. I'm not saying have an obsession over it like everything in moderation, but <laughs> Like goddamn enjoy things now, so they gotta buy diapers specifically diapers for a child because i guess we gotta make that distinction now but like bro you're a dad playtime's over it's time to be an adult as we all know good parents are miserable all the time and never take any time to enjoy things for themselves that definitely leads to good parenting ask that this man is obviously handling with a lot of resistance but what exactly would these people need as a proper wake-up call to tell them that it's time to start being an adult. Because for this man, having a kid obviously wasn't enough. Like these people, for the most part, they go to work, they pay taxes, they must be feeding themselves. But just because you've managed to keep yourself alive so far, doesn't mean you're actually functional. So <laughs> I don't like the things you do, so you're not functional. Oh, we're just defining words however we want now? Functional just means you don't like a person? Cool. Surviving. Well, then you and John Doyle are very not functional. My definition of functional includes not being a fucking fascist. <laughs> if you think democracy is cringe, fun fact, you're not functional or mentally stable. Is not an achievement when all you gotta do is throw a plastic tray in the microwave and make sure you're not too hungover for your meaningless job the next morning. It's all too easy. We are witnessing the atrophy of man. This is actually really funny considering younger people, um, not even necessarily younger people because Gen Z are still pretty young, but like millennials, um, are cooking more than previous generation, like, like Gen X. Um, there was sort of obviously back in the day, like boomers and stuff, they did a lot of home cooking and then there was sort of a lull with the, um, explosion in like microwave meals and stuff. I'm not one of these people, by the way. I eat a lot of microwave meals. Surprise. Um, but Jake cooks, um, Jake loves to cook. Um, there's a ton of people who are millennials and, and cook. Like, look at the popularity of those meal boxes. Oh gosh, what are they called? There's different meal boxes that you can order that they'll send the ingredients to your house and um, the recipe and then you make it. Like those are really popular because young people like to cook. Hello Fresh, that's what it's called, thank you. Um, <laughs> so this is just like untrue entirely. Um, there's constant articles in fact, where it's like millennials are killing the restaurant industry. Are millennials killing the blah, blah, blah industry? For one thing, it's a money thing because it ends up Turns out it's cheaper to make your own food at home, but also people just like to do it. I don't know. There are many factors at play here, and we, of course, are very obviously being chemically castrated by our environment. <laughs> I'm being chemically castrated because I'm paying for it. Fun fact. But the simple fact of the matter is, we let this happen. See, during the transitional stage between child to adult, there needs to be a strict cutoff point where we start holding someone to the adult behavioral standards instead of the child ones, because you can't be a child forever. 
Having fun is only for children. If you're an adult, you must be miserable, not master, not masturbate, no movies, no video games. You come home and you get miserable and watch John Doyle videos about how America really needs a fascist dictatorship to get us where we need to be going. That's how healthy adults work. But if society does not enforce that point, if society doesn't say, okay, you're an adult now, you're not allowed to do kid stuff anymore, then we're going to continue to end up with these quasi-adults who are truly no use to anyone. <laughs> and that's not to say that- How dare you like a movie? <laughs> that adults are never allowed to joke around and have fun ever. You can obviously be immature at- You can joke around as long as it's at the expense of minorities. That's the only humor that's allowed. <laughs> Any other joker enjoying other things is super cringe. Times, you just also need to be able to be responsible and handle adult things without having a mental breakdown. But we Do I need to go? Please, please, I hope you have a plan. Do you remember that time John Doyle did a whole MAGA cope video after the election where he's like, the MAGA hat's never coming off. Donald Trump is the real president. And then he wasn't, and John is no longer wearing the MAGA hat. I remember. We as a society have stopped enforcing that cutoff point between child to adult with any real effectiveness to the point that that line between being an overgrown kid and being an overgrown child has started to blur because there is a difference. But now we've let so many overgrown children slip through the cracks, it's getting harder and harder to correct the trajectory of our society, especially considering so much of the cringe undesirable behavior hides behind computer screens on the internet and it does this because it's afraid of social pressure it's afraid of the judgment of others as it should be <laughs> says the group of people who is constantly shaking in their boots over cancel culture <laughs> we need to start socially enforcing things that society thinks are right and wrong okay well if you're racist or transphobic or whatever then we're gonna tell you that's not okay <laughs> Why is this cancel culture coming for all of us? Freedom of speech. <laughs> but even if it were to show its face in real life, everyone is entirely too lukewarm and agreeable to express their disapproval anyways. These people definitely have someone in their lives who should be saying something, but isn't. And it's not like these people who act in these degenerative ways are basing their actions in some set of moral principles and values. No. They're just weak losers who would definitely be heavily influenced by social pressure. All you would really need to do to correct their behavior would just be a couple good rounds of pointing and laughing. What are they- Let's bully people! Yay! What are they gonna do? Stand up for what they believe in? They don't believe in it. I agree, actually. Let's bully fascists more. Let's bully the fascists. Yay! Anything. They dress up like babies and- Why are they so focused? How many adult babies are there? Not many. They probably make up 0.0000000001% of the population. What the fuck? Play with stuffed animals because they're weird. They have public temper tantrums because they have the emotional maturity of a donut. Really? Do I need to find more MAGA freakouts? Oh, look. MAGA freakouts. Stand up for me, man. Uh, I was not issued. Uh, I was not informed by anybody. Thinking he is law and order while committing a crime. or racist sheriffs and racist foot soldiers pepper spraying voters at polling locations. I, Even I remember that, that was fucked to up. Intimidate voters when pizza gets broke. And let's not forget the coup de gras. <laughs> uh, let's not forget the coup de gras, the coup d'etat. Mm. Yeah. Remember when they were so triggered that they broke into Congress and tried to kill people and beat up the police? That was fun. But 
trust me, people on the right are very level-headed. Former Marine and a retired New York City police officer. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I think they should be bullied for it. Does that make me a bad person? Because we as a society, we get to decide which behaviors are and are not acceptable. We get to decide the kinds of behaviors we accept from the adults by applying social pressure to those who do not meet our standards, which is a very normal thing in human societies. We have been doing this forever. Yeah, which is why people like you get kicked off of Twitter. That's that. That's the modern manifestation of telling you to stop being cringe. And you've definitely noticed that there's been a lot of preaching of inclusion and acceptance these days. And a lot of preaching that all different lifestyles are equal and good. Because as long as you're not hurting anyone, sure. As I said earlier, these people are scared of social pressure. Because their actions are not grounded in strength and morality. They're loosely set on a metaphorical pile of sand and gravel, a.k.a. weakness and vice. But they've managed to move the benchmark so far that we now celebrate, we now glorify and promote not being a functional adult. Who? Who does that? Please, show me who does that. Because showing me a meme video of someone crying about Trump from 2016 is not the evidence you think it is. <laughs> Nor is, like, those clips of the adult babies from TLC, the sole purpose of which is basically to make fun of them. TLC is the modern version of the freak show. It's where you go and you point and you go, look at this person who's different than you. It's not a show that's like, let's accept all adult babies. It was like, look at this weirdo. I've seen that episode. I watched it, like, the other day. Baja can attest to that. It was not like... <laughs> It was not a show that was like, we should accept all lifestyles. It was like, ha ha ha, look at how fucking weird this guy is. <sighs> like, wow, she's a lonely, mentally ill loser who gets wine drunk on the weekdays and has several cats that just barely obsessed off the crumbs she leaves on the floor. Wow. What a girl boss. Oh. <laughs> wow, you're so desperate for validation that you'll hook up with any random dating app guy just because he called you pretty. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but sex is fun. People like to do the sex. That's not desperation or pathetic that people like to get their fuck on. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, queen. I didn't realize you were a boss girl and an empowered feminist. <laughs> when he dies, and if there was a god, and he asks god, God, why would no one ever be my girlfriend? I want god to just play that clip over and over and over on loop for a thousand years until he realizes why he's so cringe. <laughs> All these feminist woke women out there hooking up with other dudes, but why won't they suck my dick? <laughs> Stupid. See, they take a behavior that is undesirable and self-destructive, and then they make you take pride in it. Ah, homophobia too, fun. And we've let them do that. And as a result, it has made our society weaker. So yeah, it's about time we start making adults actually act like adults. So it's what's going to happen if we have to... Okay, so if we're going to make you act like an adult, no more cringy middle school t-shirts that act like you're super smart, because that's not a thing adults do. Um, you got to take down the ukulele and the pictures of a pineapple and a corn guy. Adults don't typically have those. Uh, the ironic, weird, random floor sign, that's not very adult. Uh, and that mustache, mm, uh, no, 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 I'm not going to say what I want to say. <laughs> Never mind. To leave LARP land and something real happens, like a southern invasion from the now Panamanian Empire. And we as... What? He's like fucked up saying things like seven times in this video. Why can't he talk? Functional adults need to defend our territory like that thing, the one we... The one we weren't supposed to forget. Point being. <laughs> Other people's TikToks that I don't like are literally like the Alamo. <laughs> it's very important that we as a society maintain clear distinctions between adults and children. Because if there's no clear point where someone must stop being a child, then there's also no clear point 
where someone can start being an adult, which means that not only are adults being treated like children, it's the same children picture. Are being treated like adults, and that one's not funny. So what I, <laughs> I don't like that trans kids are being respected now. Mm. I'm saying is forcing the societal standards upon adults and making them act like adults for once and bullying those who fail to meet that standard is actually how you protect the children. Making fun of full-grown men who want to play dress-up protects kids. <laughs> That's an interesting justification for homophobia. I've never actually heard that one before. Oh wait, no, protecting the children is actually a pretty typical one, but the whole making fun of thing is a little different. <laughs> I'm not just homophobic. I'm trying to protect the children. How? What? How are you protecting the children? <laughs> Holding adults accountable for their actions makes our society stronger. What if I told you that you could save the West and also possibly prevent a land invasion just by making fun of weirdos who like to play dress up? Has there ever been an easier time to save your country? I don't think so. As we all know, adults usually learn to play the ukulele for memes, okay? This is very adult, okay? He's just a big Zoe Deschanel fan. Hydrate. I, I can't really sing. All you need to know is drag queens are cringe. Yeah, and stop wearing diapers too. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. I apologize for the state of the voice. It is how it is. But thank you for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, no. Greatest philosopher. This guy hurts me a lot more than John Doyle. Because John Doyle, again, how do I put this? John Doyle is actually good at the crypto fascist thing. He's less good at the crypto part lately. He's, he's letting his mask fall off. But, like... This guy just, like, really, really embarrasses me. <laughs> it's so bad. The Cult of Science is another video. Why is our culture so satanic? So I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know if these people are, like, actual Satanists or if... <laughs> He's an adult, but he doesn't understand if Lil Nas X is an actual Satanist. Great. I'm sure we'll come back to this guy another time, but I just wanted to show how cringe he is. Update on John Doyle? Did he upload? No. What a shame.